everyone. Welcome back to Alex VR. Alex here, and I am joined with Sergey Nosov, the CEO of Tesla Sue. How are you, sir? Hi, everyone. Hey, I'm doing well. I'm doing really well. How are you? So great. Having an amazing time at CES, and it's a pleasure and honor to meet you because I just tried what a lot of people may very well consider uh, the future. I mean, this is some futuristic stuff that you guys are doing. What's it like? We're doing cool stuff. I, I can't disagree with that, that's for sure. <laughs> So, if you're unaware, and, and you probably are considering this is a brand new thing, Tesla suit is, for lack of a better term, uh, like a wetsuit that you put on that has haptic stimuli and electro stimuli. Can you elaborate a little bit about what the suit actually does? Yeah, sure. So, effectively, as we call it, it's a, it's a human to digital interface. So, it allows, allows the wearer to, 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 to receive the tactile sensations from virtual world to the real world. So if somebody, I don't know, touching them or or they colliding with the colliding with the object, they can feel that touch. There's a motion capture system inside the suit that works very closely with haptics since we need to know where the person is and what he's you know touching or she's touching uh, until we can administer that touch. So that works together. And also we have biometry inside that measures the level of stress. Uh, levels, their heart rates, and many, many other characteristics that can be embedded into experience to see how a person perceives the content. You know. Wow, and, and this is especially special when you combine it with virtual reality because virtual reality is an immersive experience and then when you can attach the haptic feedbacks and the biometrics to it and the motion capture, you're, you're basically in a position to animate yourself fully in virtual reality Correct. and feel everything. That's, that's exactly right. That's absolutely right. And so it just brings a, a, a wearer to, to be more immersive inside the virtual reality. And so the sensations as well as the audio and a, and a, and a, a video, um, sort of the audio side, but also a visual side combines with a haptical experience. So if you know, I'll apply a haptics on your shoulder right now, you'll, you might feel electrical, like, you know, stingy because you're looking at me. But right. if you'll be immersed in a jungle and you have a like spider crawling on you, I'll do that, you absolutely think it's a spider. So it kind of it tricks your mind in the right way and it's super important for the experience. I, I, it's funny that you use that as an example because when I was demoing it, I was imagining walking in a jungle and feeling like a jungle cat swipe at your leg. Yes. And it, I mean, this thing is your entire body. So if, if a jungle cat swipes at your leg, like it will actually feel like you got scraped for by sure, claws. For sure, for sure, for sure. I mean, this is kind of uh, part of uh, getting the more immersive and we can use that not only for gaming uh, and for like, but we can use this for fitness, for yeah. uh, you know, educational purposes, for uh, as we call it XR training, so virtual augmented reality training, mm -hmm. for you know, from military to uh, corporations. You know, I think my favorite part of my demo experience was the uh, the bullet simulator. Like it feels like a precise impact. Like it was on my left shoulder, underneath my shoulder blade, and it hit me. Like I felt it, and that's absolutely amazing. I, I'm super impressed with it. Thank you. We uh, will be continuing need to improve the tech um, and delivering new uh, cool products. I mean, you know, I'm lucky enough to be here at CES 2020 yeah. in the future and having the opportunity to try this, but I'm sure the second people see what you guys are doing, they're gonna also going to want to have an opportunity to get in and, and take it for a spin. So is there is there a time coming up soon where somebody can maybe plan to meet up with you guys or try it or are there, are there versions available for sale? Where are you guys at with this? Well, we, we're planning to uh, bring the model for consumers within the next three years. Uh, until then, we need to build a certain ecosystem to integrate with the, you know, the software developers, with, the, uh, with various games, as well as well-being apps and sport, you know, in order to deliver a, a high quality added package. Um, but we, please subscribe to our website, teslasuit.io, and follow us on all the social networks and uh, we're always around and we're glad to do the experiences for people at the shows like this, you know, so. I love it. I love it. Well, I gotta tell you, this is probably uh, the most profound of my experiences here at CES 2020. I'm glad to hear it, man. Thank you. Of course. We absolutely love it. Sergey, thank you so much Pleasure. for your time, man. Pleasure. Thank you. Yep, check out Tesla Suit, everybody.